Hey Sagittarius, hope you guys are doing really good. Welcome to your weekly love reading, January 28th, I almost said 21st, 28th. It's today the 21st? Oh no, we're way past the 21st. January 28th to February 3rd for love uh, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you're wondering why I've added Jupiter, please watch the videos I've posted already this week because I know you guys like to cross watch, okay? Oh, Sag, I know I've had a morning, as some of you already know, by watching the message I put out to you guys, but I'm recalibrated, I'm good, and I'm good to go for your reading, okay? Um, so I'm going to address the pre-shuffle, and then I'll get into the intro, and then I'll start the reading. For anybody who doesn't want to hear any of this, go ahead, fast forward. Someone usually timestamps. Okay. So, Sag, <laughs> my guides gave me a, a lot of words. <laughs> a lot of words for you. Um, and let me, before I say anything, let me preface all of this by saying, this is going to apply for most Sagittarius who are trying to fix their current relationship situation ship ships. <laughs> okay. Um, that's for most of the Saggies here. There are, there are, there's a group of you where you're embracing. Um, um, well, actually, I, I, honestly, I want to say embracing personal growth and singlehood for a small group of you, but most of you, this is about fixing your current situation, okay? Um, so the first word I had was ideas. Like, you guys have a lot of ideas of how to go about this, about how to fix things with your person, or for those trying to be single and get personal growth, you have a lot of ideas of how you want to go about it. And then then I got flight. <laughs> and I was like, oh, if that is not a key word for Sagittarius. <laughs> you guys like your miles. Okay, anyway, uh, flight and rise. I love that word, rise. It's like, even like the, like, like, just say it to yourselves for a second. Rise. It's like, even the way it comes out of your body, it just, I don't know. There's something that always feels good about saying that word. Um, then it reminds me of that Maya Angelou poem. But anyway, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> so there's something about your ideas that is really going to help you get to where you want to be, okay? Um, but then we had her, and you could be traveling. I mean, flight. You could literally just be taking a flight. You guys love to travel. You're Sag. Um, but then we had Hermit in Reverse, which is Virgo energy, uh, with Six of Swords in Reverse with the Six of Wands. And so I got all my notes here as you guys are get, starting to get used to. Um, and the, for, those, for those of you who are new, this is a new thing that I'm doing where I'm actually like writing down all my, I know it's, I have messy handwriting, where I'm writing down um, all the notes from the pre-shuffle and giving them to you guys because people seem to resonate really well with the pre-shuffle messages. So figured why not do it? Some people don't like it, others do. So with that combination, Hermit in Reverse, Six of Swords in Reverse, and Six of Wands, I was getting the, the feeling of you just need to trust that you're going to get there. You already have the inspiration and ideas, Sag. You already have it. You already have like the key to what you want. You just have to do it. It's not even that you, I'm literally like just re reading verbatim. It's not even that you don't have a plan. You have one. You just, you just have to step into it. Okay, because Six of Swords in Reverse, usually that's like, oh, you can't even figure out a plan. But no, Sag, I felt it. You have a plan. You definitely have a plan. You just have to step into it, okay? But then I saw the Empress in Reverse come out, and that's a Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy. Um, this this particular card does not pertain to all Saggies, okay? I definitely felt that. This is pertaining to the Sagges that still need some growth before they can step into that that mode of, of plan of action to fix their current relationship or to head towards something new, okay? Uh, yeah, some need to embrace growth to make... <laughs> literally reading verbatim so some need to embrace growth to make this happen I guess I can remember better than I expect um oh and then that was interesting and then my guides actually showed me like you know how um you have the chakra chakra charts god that's hard to say chakra charts I saw the throat chakra and the solar plexus for that particular group who needs growth, those are the two chakras you need to target, okay? And I'm already like feeling, well, how do I know which one? Just do both. <laughs> balance both, okay? It, I balance my chakras almost every day just because of all the work that I do personally, right? With YouTube and whatnot. Um, just, just get them in a balanced state, okay? I definitely feel for the throat shock. Some of you, you do need to work on both. Some of you do. Others, it's just one or the other. But with the throat chakra, it's definitely more about it being underactive and being closed, needing it to be open. And for the solar plexus, it's actually more the opposite, like it's overactive and it's it's kind of, it, it's just messing with you, okay? Some of you might even have, be having upset stomachs and things of that nature. So that needs to be balanced out. It's just about balance, guys. It's just about balancing out the chakras, which again, it's always good to do anyway, right? And then they gave me embrace, the word embrace, like that honestly, that should just be the key word for this week for everybody because of the blood moon energy. And I, I know I sound like a broken record, but it, it applies to all signs, guys. It applies to all signs, which by the way, we all have each sign 
somewhere in us because we we are all able to harness that energy right and we are all subject to the planetary shifts and energy at play all that energy affects everybody it affects everybody it just affects people slightly differently depending on their charts but it all affects all of us so this theme of needing to embrace the new because of the blood moon, blood moon energy is a theme in every single reading i've done this week and i expect that to be the case for the readings i'm going to do for the rest of the week um it's just energy it's how it is guys but embrace, 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 embrace. And my guides are really, really pushing me on that word, okay? <laughs> so embrace the growth for those who need it. Work on your throat chakra. Work on your solar plexus chakra. Um, and for those who already have their plan, just embrace that and step into it. Because you have the ideas. You just they just they You just have to take flight and rise to the occasion, okay? All right. So getting into the intro here, it goes without saying that this is a, a general love reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Not all messages will resonate with everybody. Some messages, um, uh, so <laughs> I got all, I got all distracted. Not all messages will resonate with everybody. Sorry, guys. I thought it told, like, that was so weird. I was on my little train and I was like, oh, I got off the train. <laughs> Sorry, that happens. I'm a little ADD. Um, not all messages will resonate with everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. So sometimes that will be you and sometimes it won't be you. And if it's not you this week, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? Um, if I'm not resonating with you, that's okay. I don't take offense to that. You're not going to resonate with every reader, just like every reader is not going to resonate with you. Um, so find readers on YouTube that you resonate with and definitely find multiple. Don't stick with one. You don't have to, right? Um, not to mention, it's just... It's free, so might, might as well. Um, but don't watch readers that you don't resonate with. That I know it's a double negative. Um, because if if you're not resonating with their energy, they're not going to resonate with your energy, okay? So you're going to get messages that are most likely not for you, and it's just going to confuse you with the messages that were for you, okay? Um, it is energy work, guys. So messages can be vice versa. They can pertain to you, your partner, someone in your immediate environment, or someone that you interact with very regularly or think about very regularly. Don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay. All right, Sag, let's get into this. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? January, I just heard self. Some of y'all need a little more self-love. Usually my Sagis are really good about that because you guys are so optimistic. But um, yes, you know who you are if you need it. You know who you are. I don't need to tell you who you are. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? January 28th to February 3rd. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? January 28th to February 3rd. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? January 28th to February 3rd. <laughs> sorry, guys. Um, Sorry. So, someone just showed up. Um. But it's someone personal to me and it just distracted me. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to tell them to go away. Sorry. Okay. Continuing. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? January 28th to February 3rd. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? January 28th to February 3rd. Ooh. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? January 28th to February 3rd. Oh my goodness, Sag, you have so many cards. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? January 28th to February 3rd. Oh, Sag, this is going to be a long reading. It's good stuff, though. The end is good. The last cards that came out are pretty fantastic. Ooh. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? January 28th to February 3rd. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? January 28th to February 3rd. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Hmm. All right, let me get these organized here because it is a lot and I don't want my board to look too disorganized because then it starts messing with me. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten eleven and then twelve yeah you guys got twelve cards here 
Oh, and there are the dogs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Overall energy. The moon. Piscean energy. Cancerian energy. Oh, Sag, this is all about the unknown for you. This is all about the unknown. Oh, some of you guys feel a little chaotic about it, too. Um, and, and you guys are usually okay with the unknown because of just, you know, your nature. You're, you kind of like to embrace it. But there's something about this that it's just, it's almost too unknown for you, for your liking. And it's making you a little emotional. But keep in mind, guys, we are still dealing with that full moon, blood moon energy. Some people are still purging, okay? So that could be part of what you're experiencing. So please be mindful of that. But yeah, this is all about the unknown and... And it's, it's a bit, it's, it just feels like big. Like I just got this, like, <coughs> excuse me, Let me get some water. Mm. I just got this visual of like a kid, like, you know how, like, well, I, I do this as an adult and I really shouldn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm just very, I just try to be efficient. Like when kids carry stuff, sometimes they don't really understand how much they're carrying and they can't see and they're like wobbling and then they drop shit and stuff breaks. Yes, I do that all the time because I can't help myself. I hate doing the multiple trips. Anyway, that's kind of that feeling of like, okay, this is just too much. Like, th th this is a lot. Th this is a lot of unknown. I can't, I literally can't see where I'm going, right? That's that's kind of like the feeling that you're having here. Um, and you don't like it. You really don't like it. But don't worry. I see good things. I see good things. So let's get into this. Two of Cups in reverse with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag. Then we have Judgment in Reverse, Fire Energy. It's also Scorp a Scorpio for me as a reader. And then we have these three. This is this has a lot of energy on it, a lot of energy. Uh, King of Wands in Reverse, Leo Energy, Sag Energy, Aries Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Sun, more Leo Energy, and then the Two of Wands. Ooh. Sag, I think this is someone that you're dealing with. Yeah, this isn't you. This is someone that you're dealing with. Someone that you're dealing with, Okay. Um, remember guys, this could always be vice versa. Okay. And then we have this line, uh, King of Pentacles in reverse Taurus energy, uh, could also be a Capricorn Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the tower Scorpio energy. That's a Scorpio energy. You could be a Sag Scorp Cusper. And then we have the eight of swords with the world. Uh, fixed energy, Scorpio, right? Taurus, Leo, Aquarius with the Ten of Cups. That's all one line with those five together. And then we end with the Seven of Pentacles. I love that we're ending with the Seven of Pentacles, guys, because this card's been coming up for a lot, a lot for people. And it is definitely about your purpose, your life purpose, and looking at what you've accomplished so far in your life. And you're looking ahead and being like, oh, okay, you know what? You know what? I got this. I got this shit. Okay, I got this. That's That's your energy with that. But let's look over here. Sag, I, you feel like someone's not doing the work. You feel like someone's not coming towards you and you're just like, you're, you're on the verge of like, oh my God, I just, I give, I give, I give, I give. Like, why isn't this person coming towards me? Why can't this happen for me? Um, sorry, it's just making you, some of you, so it's, some of you, it's making you really sad. Others, you're just annoyed as fuck. <laughs> Just speaking honestly, some of you are just annoyed as hell with this person. Um, but other others of you are sad. Others of you are really sad. But the fact that judgment is here too in reverse tells me that like there is such a major rift between the two of you. And like I said, some of you are going to be leaving someone behind or leaving people behind and embracing the new, while others of you are trying to fix it. Okay, so keep that in mind that this energy is 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 very indicative of there's a major, major, major rift. And I almost feel like it's just like, it's just the rift has just become exponentially bigger over time. It doesn't seem like there's been much progress. Um, let's look at this judgment in reverse and see what this is about, okay? Let's see if we can get more detail on this. Tell me about judgment in reverse for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about judgment in reverse for Sagittarius. Tell me about judgment in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love. January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about judgment in reverse for Sagittarius. January 28th to February 3rd. Tell 
tell me about judgment in reverse for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about judgment in reverse for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about judgment in reverse for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about judgment in reverse for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about judgment in reverse for Sagittarius. Oh, shit. All right, we'll do that again. <laughs> Anybody new to my channel, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that I don't I don't pull cards off the top of the deck. It's just not my style. It's never really worked for me. Uh, I like to let the energy dictate the cards, so I only take flyers, okay? And for my method, I go through the whole deck. I don't stop at one flyer because more often than not, there's a lot more to the story, okay? And I don't want to miss out on anything. All right, tell me about judgment in reverse. Tell me about judgment in reverse for Sagittarius. January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about judgment in reverse. Tell me about judgment in reverse. E. Sag, some of you are watching someone um, who you were involved with get their happiness and you're not really liking it. I just gotta be honest. Tell me about judgment in reverse. You feel like they don't deserve it. But, you know, I said this in what video? It was the last video I did. I think it was Taurus. Even if you know them and have spent time with them, you never really know somebody, right? You never really know somebody. <laughs> My mother always said, you don't know someone until you know them for at least 10 years. <laughs> uh, and I think there's actually a lot of truth to that because even if you look at it from a planetary standpoint, like even there are a lot of like major planets go through cycles within 10 years, right? Um, even karm karmic cycles are within the 10 year mark, usually like seven years, right? Um, so yeah, you really would know somebody after 10 years, but you feel like this person doesn't deserve it, whatever happiness they're getting. Um, you might not know them enough to feel, to, to be able to make that judgment call. Let me say that, to make that judgment call. Okay. Just saying. Whoa. Overall energy. Lovers. Gemini energy for the judgment in reverse. Uh, uh, sorry guys. My nose, I think I got like a scratch in there and it hurts like a bitch. All right. But lovers, yeah, this rift, this rift is between you and someone that you are very, very deeply connected with. Okay. This is definitely a soul bond here. Um, you could just be dealing with a Gemini, but this is my twin flame card, whoever resonates with that. But keep in mind, guys, it's a label. Some people get hung up on that particular label, whether they're in a twin flame situation or not. So just think soul, soul connection, okay? A very, very, very deep soul connection. That is, there's a major rift here. I'm also getting uneasiness. And to clarify the judgment in reverse, we have King of Pentacles, Taurus Energy, um, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And like I said, guys, we already have that on the board. So double confirmation there. I do feel like this is your energy, Sag, okay? It's almost like... It's like you're looking up at what at your your person, your lover, and you're seeing the distance between you get bigger and bigger and bigger, and you're also feeling incredibly uneasy about it, okay? Um, and like I said, guys, for some of you, you're going to figure out how to make this work with them. Others of you, you're going to move on to the next thing. So let's keep it going. But Sag, oh, sorry, before I keep it going, Sag, I do love that you're in this energy, though. Okay, because the King of Pentacles upright is an amazing energy to be in. It's it's not only just a it's not only a provider and someone who's willing to work to provide and security and abundance, but it's also somebody who has who's got a soft heart deep down. You know what I mean? It's like they definitely have that loving energy. They just are really more concerned with structure and stability, which is awesome. That's like family family man, family family woman, right? But let's look at the person that you have your that you were connecting with have been connecting with. It's another king. So don't, again, don't get hung up on the gender. It just means that both of you are fairly, um, how do I say this? Fairly same level in your energy, okay? There, it, to me, that's actually very well connected, okay? I mean, I'm not saying, you know, someone who's a king and someone who's a queen, they can't connect. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that at all. It's almost like you two are just very, very, um alpha 
I'll say that for lack of a better word. It's masculine energy, but earth is also feminine energy. Okay, so please keep that in mind. This is like masculine upon masculine energy. This is masculine with feminine energy. Go-getters. Go-getters, doers. Like the king of wands with the king of pentacles, that would be a dynamic duo. That's a power couple right there. But anyway, so king of wands in reverse. Leo energy, Sag, Aries energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the sun and two of wands. Okay, someone's a little, um, oh God, what's the word for this? power 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 tripping this person's a little too focused on power but they are getting their happiness okay they are they see it and they're trying to go for it and they're trying to attain it this two ones tells me though that they are trying to make a choice as to how to go about that um this person is dying to take action. They're about to. They're about, yeah, they're about to, they're about to, they're about to. They're about to take action towards their happiness and freedom. But right now, they are at a crossroads about it, okay? And Sag, you're seeing this. You can feel it. And you're, it's, it's making you uneasy. It's making you a little apprehensive and a little anxiety-ridden because a lot of you, like I said, are going to fix it with this person. Others of you are realizing that it's like, oh, they're about to change their life. I, I might have to change my life, right? So let's look at this two of wands and see what this crossroads is all about here. Tell me about the two of wands for Sagittarius. Tell me about the two of wands for Sagittarius. Tell me about the two of wands for Sagittarius. January 28th to February 3rd. And again, that changing my life, for some of you, it's to be with them. Others, it's just to move on. Tell me about the two of wands. Most of you, it's to fix it. Tell me about the two of wands for Sagittarius. January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about the two of wands for Sagittarius. January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about the two of wands for Sagittarius. January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about the two of wands for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about the two of wands okay. for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is really interesting, Sag. They're heading into the unknown, too. Tell me about the two of wands for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about the two of wands for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about the two of wands for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Sag. Oh my god. Okay. You have no idea. Oh my god, you have no idea. You both are heading towards the unknown. You, you both are heading towards the unknown, but honest to God, you guys are heading to the same place. <laughs> oh my God, I'm, I'm going to cry. Oh, it's an emotional day. <laughs> the overall energy for the two of wands is page of swords. They're going to communicate this to you, Sag. They're going to communicate this to you. This is truth, a very truthful message. They're going to tell you, and I think, okay, yeah. Yeah, my guide's saying yes. This is one of the reasons why um, they haven't taken action yet. They want to talk to you about this. Ooh. So they're going to communicate a message of truth about, look, I'm at a crossroads. I need to do this, that, or the other. And I'm heading towards the unknown. And Saj, you're heading towards the unknown, okay? Oh, my God. The, fir <laughs> the first three cards out. Empress in reverse, Libra energy, Taurus energy, um, Divine Feminine energy. Six of Swords, this was in your pre-shuffle, Sag, with the freaking moon. With the moon. They are quite literally heading towards the unknown. And they're at a crossroads because, guys, this is so, this is so mirroring each other. I mean, this is ridiculous. They can choose the left or they can choose the right. One is, you know, into the unknown with you. And one is into the unknown without you. That's why these cards are out here. They're heading into the unknown and it's like, there's my empress. Am I moving away or with? Am I moving away or with? And it's caused a lot of restriction for you, Sag. Um, and again, because you've been watching. You've been watching this rift get bigger and bigger and bigger between the two of you, okay? And it's been making you upset. And because you've been watching this rift, it's felt made you feel restricted, okay? 
Um, they don't realize you're restricted, but that's why the card is here to indicate, yes, you, you have been restricted, Sag, but they are moving into the unknown and they can't decide if they should go with you or without you. And you're heading into the unknown because you want to fix it with them. For most of you, and some of you are like, maybe I should go with something new because clearly they're going down a new path, but you're going down a new path. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> ah! <laughs> mirror, mirror, mirror around the wall. <laughs> anyway, so we have Temperance in reverse, you, Sagittarius, with the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy. I can't make this shit up, honest to God. Um... Again, this for me as a reader, hair font in reverse is a decision and a commitment, a decision and agreement, a decision in faith. Okay, others, other readers will, will tell you it's a divorce card, and like you know, it can, it can be. For me as a reader, it's about the choice because you can either take it or leave it, right? And they can't decide if they need to take you or leave you. They can't decide. They don't know what the best option is, and they're that's why they're going to come to you because they really can't figure it out. The universe works in amazing ways. What can I say? Spirit works in amazing ways. Okay, so let's get into this next line. This is your energy, Sag. Uh, the King of Pentacles in reverse with the tower. Okay, so King of Pentacles in reverse. The reason that you are in reverse here, it's like this is your energy during this tower moment. And I got to be honest, I feel like this tower moment is going to be this conversation. It's going to be this conversation. It's so funny. Here you are trying to figure out what the hell to do. And all of a sudden they come to you and you, you guys are like, oh, Oh, it, oh, look at look at this. Isn't this an interesting scenario? Um, the tower comes down with this conversation and it just it just throws you because you're just not expecting it. You're not expecting it. Um, and it make it actually takes you out of your element a little bit, Sag. It makes you feel really unco uncomfortable at first because it's just so out of left field and you're just so taken aback. OK, um, but the tower comes down and you go from this trapped feeling that you were having because you were seeing this rift get bigger and bigger and bigger with your person leaving you feeling trapped and you're like oh shit you know what you know what let's do it let's take the leap of faith the full aries energy with the ten of cups maybe we should take the leap of faith together <laughs> congratulations honest to god congratulations sag um for those of you where it's like, maybe I should move into something new, you can get the Ten of Pentacles on your own. You can have the Ten of Pentacles solo. You definitely can, because that's about your home. That's about your environment, okay? Your family, whatever you consider your family, even if it's just you and your pets, even if you are your own family, right? Um, some of you where you're, you're trying to go solo, you can have this and you're going to have it. It's here. It's here because it's an option. It's here because it's probable. It's here because it has the potential for you to just take it. But this conversation is the tower. Hands down, this conversation is the tower. Um, God, do I need to clarify anything else? <laughs> um, this is an incredible reading. This is incredible. <sighs> Let's do the full. Let's do the full. Let's clarify the full, and then we'll get into this, the last card, the Seven of Pentacles, okay? <laughs> Heading towards the same thing, and you guys did not even realize it. <laughs> Tell me about the full. Oh. You were heading towards something that you thought was completely different and you were just heading towards each other. That's that's like, that's incredible. Tell me about the fool. You guys are going to make me cry for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about the fool for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about the fool. For Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Sag, you might need a little time to think about it because you're so taken aback when this person approaches you. Again, this could be vice versa. You could approach this person um, if it was vice versa for you. Um, you are gonna, you might need some time to think about it because it's, it's just going to throw you so much that you're not going to be very grounded. Okay, uh, tell me about the fool. For Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about the fool. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I fucking love it. Tell me about the fool for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. 
Tell me about the Fool for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about the Fool for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about the Fool for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Tell me about the Fool for Sagittarius, January 28th to February 3rd. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> if all those want to be out, they all want to be out. Oh, ha, ha. The moon. Ha, ha. Funny. Um, the moon again. We have three moons here. Three moons. Yeah, this is all because of the blood moon energy, guys. Hands down. Let me just organize all this because it got all kaflooped here. Oh, my God. Mm. Amazing. Amazing. Overall energy. The moon, Piscean energy, Cancerian energy. This is the moon that reveals. This is the moon that shows you the way. Both of you, both of you, both of you, Sag, this is your moon, this is their moon. Both of them in the same position, the unknown. The unknown, also a lot of hell of a lot of emotion. But then for the fool, for the beginning that you guys are going to take together, it's the, it's, it's the moon in reverse. It's revealed. It's no longer unknown. You guys know. You guys know. Look, both of you are sitting there staring up at the moon together. <laughs> you both know, okay? You both know. First, first line out, the star card, Aquarian energy, with the Knight of Wands, Sag, your energy. Uh, could also be Aries or Leo. With the High Priestess, this is Piscean energy and Gemini energy for me as a reader. Gemini is your seventh house, guys, so please be aware of that, okay? Yeah, both of you, your partner, and you are getting your wish come true. You're getting a blessing. And this is not just the regular star card, guys. This is accelerated. This is the divine at play. There's an entity staring her down, essentially giving her the blessing, giving her the go ahead. And both of you are going to take it. You're both are going off together. Both of you. And one of you is incredible. Is I got to say, one of you is far more spiritual than the other. And there's nothing wrong with that. Your partner, I feel like, is the one who's more spiritual. And I think that's also might be why that they come to you with this message, okay? They, they are very intuitive, um, very, 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 very intuitive. And I just get the feeling it's like one of you is more about like, one of you is the planner. Like, you know, that you know how to plan. You can see, you, you can see. And I feel like it's your partner. Your part. Yeah. Again, this could be vice versa. Whoever's the high priestess in this scenario for you. They can see multiple steps ahead and they just have an inner knowing. So when it comes to planning, it's like, they don't need to take a lot of time to figure it out. They just kind of know. They just know. And then Sag, you are the one who puts that plan into action. You guys are a team. You guys are quite the duo together. Congratulations. Wow. I'm a little overwhelmed, guys. This is going to be a long day of readings. <laughs> and then this is interesting to me. We have the Six of Pentacles with the Five of Wands, okay? The Six of Pentacles to me is, is a gift, this is a gift, okay? And just expect some resistance here. This has been coming up for a couple people already. I think Aquarians had this, and I think um, Taurus might have had this as well. Or was it Gemini? Gemini. Oh, no, Gemini did have this. Gemini did have this energy where both of you are being given this opportunity, quite literally, by the energy of the blood moon and spirit. Um, and, it is, and it's a true gift. It really is. And you both are finding a lot of harmony in it. But keep in mind, guys... People who are not getting that, you know, people who are low vibrational, and I've seen it here on the channel. I've seen it. I've seen the, sh the shit talkers to people who are getting their blessing, which, by the way, don't shit on people's blessings. Seriously, I hate that shit. It's not okay. It's not okay. And if you're shitting on someone's blessing, that just tells me that you don't have the positive mindset for yourself to go and mate and to go out and try to get that happiness for yourself, guys. If if you, you know, go through this reading, you're like, oh, this will never happen to me, whatever then it won't ever happen. <laughs> That's the law of attraction. If you want something, act like you have it. If you want something, manifest it. If you want something, put in the work, put in the self-work to get yourself more high, vi high vibrational, to get blessings and to get more happiness in your life, okay? It starts it with you. It starts with you. Anyway, sorry, had to preach a little bit. But five of wands, yeah, this is going to be attacked. This gift will be attacked by others, so please be um, prepared for that. Oh, and this last line... Oh, <laughs> page of swords again, page of swords. Why is this not focusing all of a sudden? Oh, wait, someone tried to teach me a trick. Oh, look at that. Page of swords. I think it does work. Page of swords with the ace of cups, 
with the seven of pentacles with the freaking world okay the world is fixed energy scorpio leo taurus um aquarius don't we already have the world out here i thought we did did i imagine that i must have imagined that i'm sorry i must have imagined that anyway um, yeah, this is just the truth, guys. This is the truth. And you guys are going to talk about it. And you guys are going to give it a shot. You guys are going to take this new opportunity because you know it's worth the investment. This Seven of Pentacles is worthwhile investment. This is a lot of disappointment. I mean, even his face kind of says it all, right? But that's not you guys. This is you. You're like, oh, those Pentacles are coming in nicely <laughs> with this Ace of Cups. And you're going to you're gonna take on a whole new adventure together. Okay, together. That's for most of you. There's a very, very small group of you where this is, um, you're going to go off solo. But I got to be honest, it's like 95% of you, this is making stuff, making it work, making it work, work, work with your person. Okay. Um, oh my God, beautiful. Oh, I forgot, <laughs> forgot we had this card. <laughs> got so wrapped up in this energy. You guys just know this is the path. This is the path ahead. And it brings abundance, it brings love, it brings happiness. And Sag, you and your partner are going to figure it out. You and your partner are going to figure it out. So let's pull Romance Angel cards and see what they have to say. And then we will wrap this up. All right. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? January 28th to February 3rd. I mean, God, what a love story. Thinking you guys are going to have to go your separate ways and just come in to find out that, no, you're really just heading towards each other. Mm. Mm. Any messages for Sagittarius? January 28th to February 3rd. Any messages for Sagittarius? January 28th to February 3rd. I can feel you guys asking, like, who that was that showed up. I can feel it. And maybe you guys were already asking, but I was so focused on the reading. Um, don't worry about it. <laughs> but they were freaking out that's for sure but you know i'm working any messages for sagittarius january 28th to february 3rd any messages for sagittarius january 28th to february 3rd any messages for sagittarius regarding the spread january 28th to february 3rd Amazing. Amazing. Oh, nice. Very nice. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? January 28th to February 3rd. Any of you dealing with a Taurus? Taurus had a very similar um, spread. I mean, this theme, this theme is, is going to be for everybody, as I already said, because it's just how planets work, right? Just how energy works. Um, but Taurus had similar read if anybody is needing to walk, needing to, you know, you know what I mean. I'm interested in Taurus. <laughs> Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Oh, that's it? Oh, very interesting. Okay, so we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And like I said, Sag, um, your partner is definitely going to. Your partner is definitely going to extend lighthearted energy to you. They're going to be honest with you and like, look, let, let's, I, I, I need this new path, but I, I, do we go together or do we go our separate ways? You're going together. Anyway, overall energy. Let your friends help you. You guys know how I feel about this card. Ask for and accept support from others. Only if you know they're unbiased. All our friends are biased because they're what? Our friends. <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay? So just be careful who you actually ask for help. This is also telling me that, you know, this is... um spirit at play too, really helping out and really supporting um it's also saying speak to your guides talk to your guides yeah some of you are really not talking to your guides at all um and maybe you know some of you are new at that even just you can start by just saying talking to them out loud they're there they're totally there you can speak to them um out loud you can speak to them telepathically um you can ask them to show you things in your dreams or help you you know just just start talking just start talking to them okay by the way underneath new love i'm sorry it was really kind of far huh new love and engagement i'm just saying i'm just saying it's heading towards good shit heading towards good shit for a lot of you okay um so again congratulations to any sagittarius that this resonates with i mean god what a love story um what a love story uh hope don't uh, i'm all kaflooped don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to check out patreon and the facebook page okay i love you guys so much have a good night have a good week
Namaste.